Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to explain some of the important changes that the TradingView developers have made to the inbuilt strategy tester that back tests our scripts on historical data. So recently, the TradingView developers have updated how the strategy tester works on TradingView, and these changes have eliminated some of the significant limitations I've mentioned in previous videos. So this is a really exciting development for TradingView. I'm currently working on recording some new content covering strategy automation and how I go about that process. But before we dive deeper into that world of PineScript, it's important that we understand um, how the new backtester system works because it's going to help us better navigate the strategy development process in Pine. So let's break down some of these really important changes in today's video. And in the next video, we'll start utilizing some of these really cool new features of the strategy tester. The first change that they have implemented, if I open up the settings for this strategy script that you see on my chart right here, I'll go over the source code for this strategy in a future lesson. But for now, I just want to make you aware of these new features of the strategy tester. So here's the settings menu for this strategy script that I have added to my chart. If I go to the properties tab and I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see this new option, back testing precision. And we have this new setting here called use bar magnifier. This will be off by default on any script that you create. But from now on, we need this on at all times. And I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, the way we turn this on at all times in our scripts is if I open up the editor here and add a comma on the end of my strategy annotation function, this is where we set the uh, default settings for our strategy. So here I've set my titles, my overlay setting to true, my calculate on order fills is set to true, my initial capital is set to 10,000 US dollars. And if I hover over this, um, the very last parameter we have to work with there is use underscore bar underscore magnifier. We need to set this to true on every single script we create. Um, the only time you wouldn't use this is if you can't afford to upgrade your TradingView plan to the pro plan. I believe this is locked behind the pro plan on TradingView, but ideally we need this on at all times. So let me quickly explain what this setting does and why it's so important. So in the past, the TradingView strategy tester, the way it would run its back test is it would simulate how price action unfolded on historical data. I don't know if I've covered this on YouTube, but in my PineScript Mastery course, I explain how this works. So the broker emulator would simulate price action based on these um, sort of parameters here. So if the bar's high is closer to the bar's open than the bar's low, then the broker emulator assumes that intra-bar price was moving this way, from the open to the high to the low to the close. So let's jump over to the chart and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I zoom in on this candle here with this giant wick to the top, the way the broker emulator would uh, used to work is if the bar's high is closer to the bar's open than the bar's low, then the emulator would assume that price opened here, rallied to the high, fell to the low, and then closed here. It's a very rudimentary system. It doesn't take into account the nuances of price action and the fact that price might have opened here and then fell a little bit and then rallied and then fell a little bit and then rallied and then went sideways for a little while, um, had a spike up to the top and then fell and then rallied a little bit and then fell again and then ended up closing here. The strategy tester system used to not do a very good job of simulating this. It would simply simulate this price action in a four step motion. The bars open is closer to the high than the close is. And so it would say, it would assume that price went up, down, closed. Now with this new setting, this new backtesting precision setting, we can actually tell the TradingView strategy tester to simulate this bar, how price action unfolded on this bar based on a lower time frame. So if I use the bar replay tool and I click on this bar and I drop down to First of all, let me draw these levels out. So we've got the high and the low of this bar. If I drop down to a five minute chart and zoom out a bit, now you can see that our hourly bar opened here and we do have this large wick to the top. So price opened here, rallied to the top and then fell to here, rallied to here, fell to here, rallied to here, fell to here and then closed here. 
This gives us the full story of that one hour bar. And now with this new setting, uh, the bar mag, whoa, what did I do to my drawing tool there? With this new setting, the use bar magnifier tool, the strategy tester uses a lower time frame to simulate how price action unfolded on this one hour bar. That gives us greater precision in simulating our strategy performance over historical data. And it's extremely, extremely important that we get accurate simulations of our strategy on historical data. And so there is no reason why you shouldn't have this turned on at all times. So from now on, make sure this is turned on in all of your strategy scripts. Again, the way you do that is just add this um, parameter to your strategy annotation function. This will ensure that this setting is turned on at all times. So that's one important change that TradingView have made to the strategy tester. Um, I'll go over this in more detail in future lessons. If you want to see which lower time frames correspond to the higher time frame, um, I'll leave a link to the blog post below where TradingView announced this new feature. Here's the blog post here. So they've structured this table in a weird way, but, but this means that if your time frame is less than 240, so four hours, all the way down to 60, so the 60 minute chart, then the intra bar time frame that is used to simulate your historical price action, the way that the bar unfolded, is the five minute chart. And so now when my script code is running through the strategy tester on historical data, using this bar as an example, the strategy tester uses the five minute time frame to simulate how this hourly bar unfolded. And my internet's playing up here for some reason, it won't load the chart, but you get the idea. I've already gone over this, um, how this works. And so the five minute time frame will show a different story on how this hourly bar really unfolded. The reason why this is important is because, so let me find an example here. The problem I'm going to have is that I need to find a recent example because you can only load historical data so far back on TradingView. So I might need to go through a few different pairs here to find a recent example. All right, here we have a trade that might just work. If I zoom in here, this is perfect. So notice that the strategy tester is saying that this trade was closed for a profit. Our take profit was hit. We entered short on the open of this bar after our setup candle was detected. Our stop loss was here, our take profit there. The strategy tester reckons that this trade won. In the past, without this turned on, it's possible that this um, strategy tester would record this winning trade inaccurately when it was actually a losing trade. Price opened here and maybe it rallied up and hit our stop loss, then rallied down to hit our take profit after we'd already taken a loss and then rallied up and closed up here. We don't know how price unfolded on this bar, but by turning this setting on, if I use the bar replay tool here and we draw on our stops and targets, when my terrible Australian internet finally loads the script, there we go. If I put my stop loss and my take profit on the chart, and then we drop down to a five minute time frame. That's what the hourly time frame uses as its lower time frame reference point when simulating intra bar price action on historical data. If I click on the five minute time frame, here we go. You can clearly see that price came close to our stop loss. Depending on the spread, this might have been a losing trade, but that's a different can of worms altogether. But in this particular case, our stop loss was not hit, price fell to hit our take profit and then rallied past our stop loss. That's what the strategy tester is doing when we have this setting turned on, as I've mentioned several times now, but I need to make this very clear that you guys understand this because it's really important. And so this trade was accurately simulated by the strategy tester as a winning trade based on that lower time frame uh, price action. So that's one new really important adjustment that the TradingView developers have made to the strategy tester and from now on, we keep this on at all times. The second important adjustment they've made is this brand new deep backtesting beta system. And basically what this does is if you have this turned off, our strategy is being simulated across all of the bars that are loaded onto our chart. So if I go all the way back to the last bar on my chart or the very first bar on my chart, that's right here. If I zoom in, put a vertical line there, you can see that this is this bar is the 2nd of January 2019 at 8 a.m. 
And so my strategy tester results here are showing me how my strategy performed during this window of time, this sample from 2nd of January, 2019 until today. This is my trading results, my strategy results. But if I turn the deep backtesting on, now I can choose a date range to uh, simulate between. So now I can trade all the way back to 2005 up until today. And if I click generate report, I make sure that I've got this turned on, click generate report. Now this will take a little while, especially if you've got um, this setting turned on, it will take quite a bit longer because the strategy tester needs to simulate that intra bar price action on every single hourly bar all the way back to 1st of January, 2005. But what this tester system will now spit out when this uh, back test is completed, the data here will include every trade from 2005 until now. And there you go. You can see we have 352 trades. Um, that's because I'm on a broker that doesn't have a lot of historical data. If I go to a different one, let's go to Oanda and do exactly the same thing. Oanda has price data that goes back until uh, pre-2005, but I'll leave it at 2005 for now. Click generate report. You can see up here that we only have 134 trades in our sample size based on the bars that are loaded on my chart. But now that I've generated a report from 2005 until now, we have 837 trades uh, and it gives us very different uh, drawdown and return metrics. So from 2005 until today, this system took 837 trades, had a 54% win rate, a 100% return roughly and a 14% max drawdown. Not ideal for such a long time frame. 17 years to double your money is a long time, but that's not the point of today's lesson. This is just an example. And obviously the idea is to find a strategy that works on multiple pairs, multiple markets, perhaps even multiple time frames. And so um, these returns tend to compound over time and you'll end up with a much higher than 100% return across several pairs, several strategies. Uh, but the point here is this deep backtesting system has just run our script on historical data from 2005 until now, instead of just from uh, what was it, the 2nd of January, 2019. So that's a really important feature here as well. Now this deep back testing system won't show visually the trades on your chart because you can only see what data you've loaded. But if we open up the list of trades and scroll all the way down, you can see that some of our trades here begin in 2005. So that's it for today's video. Sorry, it was a bit of a, a ramble, but these new changes to the strategy tester are super important. And we will cover this in more detail in more practical use cases and examples in future lessons. But for now, just be aware that if you hear me speaking about any limitations with the TradingView strategy tester, a lot of that has been alleviated by these two um, new features. The backtesting precision, make sure to have this always turned on. And the deep back tester is something that we will explore in more detail in future lessons uh, that will give us significantly more or significantly larger sample sizes to work with, which is extremely important when developing robust trading strategies. But for now, I'll wrap this lesson up here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you enjoy the content to come. Uh, we're going to cover some really exciting and interesting stuff. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and all of that YouTuber stuff, I have to say. And uh, yeah, good luck with your trading. Be careful out there. It's a bloodbath at the moment. Uh, that will lead to some great opportunities in the months to come. But for now, make sure you're managing your risk properly. Uh, be careful. And yeah, I'll speak with you very soon. Take care.